All right, here we are back. Uh, you can kind of see the window here. It's uh, you can't really tell in the picture, or maybe you can. I, I'm not sure. If I can't really see the camera. I got it stuck to the center upper window, but you may just smear some silicone around on it. It'll uh, it'll come out all right later when the uh, I can hit it with some soft scrub or something like that. Now we know that this is the bottom of our window here. So when I put the butyl tape on, we're going to have our seal meet here. The, the two ends will meet here in the middle, rather than you know take a chance on having a gap. At least whatever moisture gets in between there would more, more likely to wick out the bottom. So let me get down here once and, and see here kind of the length we're going to need. All right, four times that much, and I'm just going to work this right around the, the corners. The, uh, the paper tape that's on it, the, uh, the protection film, doesn't really like to do corners. So the butyl itself moves real well, no problem there. And this is the same material as was originally used put it down. Uh, you want to have real clean hands when you do this and you don't want to grip it very hard to avoid um, having it stick to your hands. It doesn't like to let go once it sticks. So it's really no hill for a climber to uh, lay this stuff. Lovely. Bloody lovely. Yeah, I do some different voices from time to time. So, there's nobody here but just me. So, just to kind of work it in, keep it flat, and I'm kind of pressing it down. There's a bit of a groove, a raised ridge, actually, along the back side. And I'm trying to stay in front of that rather than you know, going up and over. But I don't want to stretch this stuff tight. Now you're trying to put a straight line on to paint a stripe or a two-tone job on a car, you'll pull your masking tape fairly tight. And that's just not a good idea. Because the more more tension you put on this stuff, the thinner it becomes. It just stretches out like uh, silly putty. And pretty soon you don't have anything to make a bond. The I don't have to worry too much about the bond itself because when I put the inner piece on and screw all these screws tight that's going to draw it down and that and a little sunshine is going to take care of the rest it's July in Missouri so all the bugs are out all right now we're going to cut this long like that and run it over the top of itself thusly. Now you can't have two levels but if you then make one cut through the whole works and remove the two sides you should have a pretty decent um, bond there. Alrighty. Again that's at the bottom. So. Let's set our window. I can clean the inside of the glass from inside later. The outside is just really nice. So, don't want to pick up too much junk here. All right, there's our stuff on. Now we'll set the window. All right, I'm gonna move the whole wad of curtain over here just to make sure it's completely out of our way and then uh, I've checked I've cleaned the outside of the opening all the way around so that we don't have any residue to prevent adhesion now to see if we can do this one-handed pick up our window and put it through the opening ok 
Okay. Now, get you guys in the picture here. And pretty much we're kind of sort of set here in a way. <clears throat> Can't really get out there so I'll put some screws in the perimeter frame and that'll give me something to draw it down with. So eliminate that gate daylight gap that you see there. Come over here, get a screw, put it on the good old screw gun. Thank God for magnets. And I'll just run it in here a little bit if I can get lined up. Keep tipping it over. All right. And that'll give me something to pull on to get us down in here. Well, gonna need a couple more. All right, here's the benefit of a magnetic bit. Reach over and pick up a couple of screws with it. We'll put one on. Snag the other one. And this one. Well, that one fell. Wondered why I had two. Okay. Now we've got something we can pull down on. Still not wanting to go at the bottom here. So we'll need one more screw. There's the one that fell. Pick that up. Yeah, get yourself a magnetic uh, bit holder for fun and profit. This uh, sleeve here will slide out to cover so that it can't so that it can't uh, I'll show you here. There it is. So it can't fall out quite so easily and that sleeve retracts. We need a grip, grip point right here. Okay. Now I have something to pull on in a couple of places. Okay, that did it. Yeah, we're down in. We've got lip all the way around. I'll pull those screws out and put the trim piece on. You get a little further away so the thing can focus properly. And we'll have a watertight roof window, we hope. Middle one looks good. We'll watch them. So I'll, this I'll trim later on. All right, well, got some of the screws in and they're drawing things down nicely. The frame is a little uh, the worst for wear. It's got some some uh, discoloration over here. I thought about painting it and I will, but I'll take it off in the future. I need to put all the screws in now and draw that thing down and let it get a good seal. Then we can worry about all that later on. So Anyway, that's my new drain hose. You were wondering what you were saying. That's my RV drain hose. This is an RV. I have to drain it, so I need an RV drain hose, not the regular kind. <laughs>